Herman Cain's campaign has been making lots of headlines in the past few weeks, including his so-called smoking video. It's a web ad featuring his campaign manager that went viral very quickly. Fellow candidate John Huntsman's three oldest daughters are now generating some political buzz of their own with their interpretation of that ad. Take a look. We are shamelessly promoting our dad like no other candidate's family ever has. But then again, no one's ever seen a trio like the John 2012 girls. We need you to get involved to make sure our next president is based on substance. Not sound bites. Check out our dad at john2012.com and follow us on Twitter at john2012girls. <laughs> so what exactly is the campaign strategy here? Let's ask the John 2012 girls. They're known as Abby Huntsman, Livingston, Mary Ann Huntsman, and Liddy Huntsman. Good morning, ladies. Good to have you with us. Good morning. Thank, Thank you for, for having us. Shaving your upper lips yeah. before joining us. <laughs> Did you wear those outfits last night for Halloween? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the one shot did this with the video. So, I mean, what was the genesis of this? Why, you know, I guess fire back with an ad like this and, and the idea? I mean, where did it all come from? Um, wait, I thought we were supposed to talk about the Kim Kardashian divorce. We'll get to that. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get to that. Don't worry. We will get to that. I'm pressing. I didn't know there were other issues. I didn't know there were other issues going on in the world. Um, but yeah, we came up with the ad. We thought it was a very clever idea. We saw that this video had just gone viral, and we were like, you know what, this would be so funny just to do kind of a spoof of it and blow, why not blow bubbles, you know? Yeah. You guys Age appropriate. You guys, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're, not, you're not encouraging smoking. Yeah, exactly. Um, you, guys, you guys are having a lot of fun with this campaign. Obviously, there's a serious reason behind it, um, because you want your dad to get the bid, and ultimately you want him to become president. But how, Marianne, how do you think humor is actually helping you guys um, and, and helping try to get the word out for your dad, because he's lagging in the polls. Right. You know, we're trying to get out there to actually say things that, I and mean, we're obviously being honest in our tweets, um, but, you know, we want it to be lighthearted and funny, but also, you know, you know, help our dad out. So, do you think yeah, it's, do you think it's, I mean, do you notice a change in, in the buzz at all that you're seeing online? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's generally a lot of us, and I think we're the only ones out there, um, especially our age, that is able to, has the opportunity to see the inside of what's going on in the election. I think a lot of people are curious to see what's going on, and, and we're very honest in everything that we say, and I think people are, are really attracted to that. So I we're think, having a great time. I think they find it weird that a, you know, a politician, you know, that we're so honest and blunt because people think that you know we're supposed to be kind of taken back and reserved, but we're having fun with it. and like people yeah. to see what we're kind of seeing behind the scenes. Well, I mean, what does your dad think? I mean, what, what does he think? Does he say you have to be a little careful, it's nice to be funny, but you don't want to say something that's going to get generate too much of a buzz in a negative way because, because right. like Erica mentioned, he's and not in a position where he can really have, you know, he can't have any more hits balance. against him. There's definitely a balance with that. And it, it, he really trusts us, but I think uh, we're all in this for a very serious reason. Um, yeah. And we know that our country's in, uh, going through some serious problems that need to be fixed. And, and we strongly believe that our dad is exactly what our country needs to, to move forward. And so that's the main reason for doing this and we hope that while we're adding some humor that people are actually listening to the message that we're sending out there that you know yeah. we need to move forward and our dad has what it takes. So. Have you guys thought collectively of why the message isn't being received better? Why there isn't more support for him? Maybe because he's honest. Yeah. I also think the party is so divided right now more so than it ever has been um, and you know and so I think it's it's just been a little tough for him to get out there um, but you know if you stop and think about the electability factor and someone who can um, you know, get to Democrats, independents, and Republicans, and I think, you know. Yeah, we've noticed that it's one issue that people, you know, look at whether it's he worked for Obama or he's for one thing or the other, and and, and you think, you know, at the end of the day. Um, these issues don't really matter. I mean, when he was ambassador to China, it was really a, a non-political job. He said, I would yeah. have served, uh, I've served for four presidents, Reagan, Bush, Bush, and Obama, and, and I would have done the same job under any other president over in China, and I'd serve my country. That's what I was raised to do, and and I think some people take that the wrong way, and, and you know. Yeah. As much fun as you guys are having with with at John Twenty Twelve Girls, which is the Twitter handle, and it's a lot of fun to follow you guys. You you have been. I mean, you joke around with some of the other candidates' kids, but you also have come out pretty strongly on certain other topics, specifically with with Mitt Romney. Um, how does that go over with your dad when you guys do that? Well, I think at the end of the day, we we believe in our dad so much, and when we see a lot of other people out there who kind of I don't know we don't have the resume or the experience, you know, it's kind of speaking out with saying like, you have the guy right here, the candidate who has everything to turn this country around, you know, look into it. Do you, do you, think, do you think young people are engaged in this election or do they feel forgotten? 
I think a lot of people feel without a home right now. I think there were a lot of Obama supporters. That was the thing four years ago for, yeah. for people our age, and now they're feeling a little bit lost, and they don't know where to go, and then the Republican Party's all the way to the right, and so, you know, I think my dad represents our age group, and, and, and he provides kind of a roof for people to come under, so we really hope to reach out to, to our age and, and get them involved, because it's so important for, for the next generation. Do any other candidates' kids have a sense of humor? Clearly not. not. <laughs> we try. We play around. Those are the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to joke around. Lady, thank you very much for coming. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Really good luck.